is not a partisan problem. It is a problem for the people of Ohio. We have got to come together and see what we can do to spur economic development in the state of Ohio. At this time, I'd like to ask my fellow representatives to join me and we're we'll able to bring questions that we can answer. What's, what's the cost of your package? And what the cost of our package is really broken down by each individual bill. We have information that we'll provide to you on that. But uh, I think overall, the big message is what we can do to spur economic development in the state. Can you give me a ballpark figure? I can't give you a ballpark figure, but I can tell you it's a small investment with an overall um, major uh, positive impact to people of Ohio. Can you tell me how you think about it? Again, we can break it down by bill and go from there. A lot of them are washed. A lot of them are very uh, in, insignificant as far as the cost. Wouldn't we want to be tracking the companies that are leaving Ohio and find out what we can do better? Uh, those are reports that are already being made available as far as the people that are leaving the state. We, we understand that one of the small business ones is an issue which uh, that one will have to be. Uh, to be figured. When you look at it, is that's why we said zero to low interest loans because. You know, a lot depends on, on the current situation and what you're good for. You know, there's a Supreme Court ruling this morning which has kind of thrown the budget into the, the state of flux, to say the least. Your your package will cost something. What would you say to people who want to say maybe this isn't the time to bring forward an additional things to cost additional money? Again, um, in the overall package, these are insignificant in, as far as the cost when you look at the long-term benefit people of Ohio. And I think sometimes uh, we all need to understand the importance of being able to make small investments for uh, major paybacks uh, to the state. And we have got to turn economic development around in the state. And it's not going to happen on its own. We need to be extremely proactive in coming to the Representative Jordy? Yeah, I just, I just want to throw it out there. Can that please? Can you step yes, yes, thank you. I just believe it's going to be a lot more costly if we watch businesses leave our state and go to South Carolina, to Georgia, uh, to Indiana, and we don't do something to try and save them. It's going to be a lot more costly two years from now and ten years from now when our state is you know, shriveling up on the bottom. So I think we need to do what little we can uh, uh, to, to show businesses that they're important to us and we want to help save them in Ohio. Yeah, the key to getting out, is, out of this process and this problem is providing more jobs. You know, a lot of that's been said, but we haven't seen a lot of fluff, not a lot of action. So this is something that we're trying to do is develop more jobs. We have to invest a little to develop more jobs in the state. Because that's the only way we're going to get out of this. But you keep saying cost. The unemployment system's broke. It's on a loan right now. So what? You know, let, let's talk about what is costing us now instead of what's going to cost us in, in the future. I mean, it, it will pay off. It has to. I'm losing people as far as in, oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, in my business, I've laid off over 50 people already. So I'm down to 60 employees. I just canceled my health care coverage uh, about 12 weeks ago for my employees. So that's 16 more individuals walking out on the street now without health care coverage. So I, cost is a factor, but it pays off in the long run. So um, I think you know, the main thing we need to do for the state of Ohio is keep what we have. It's going to cost us far less money keep what we have here and take care of what we have instead of going out and trying to bring new in. I want to bring new in too, but we still have to focus. I make a point to go back to my district, go into the businesses there, the, the manufacturing plants that are still there, the Avon plant is still in Stan County, um, but make sure that the workers' costs are out of control. There's so many other things that we can do to adjust this that doesn't cost money. So you know, to keep people employed here. Yeah. Um, given that Republicans were in control of both chambers and the governor's office for a long time, up until fairly recently, where did the party go wrong? I mean, if this is, you know, something that uh, is, you know, it's Ohio has been going downhill for a while. You know. As a freshman, it's difficult for me to respond to that, <laughs> but I will tell you, uh, I think that there was uh, a very comfortable attitude, and I'm not sure who anticipated the huge recession that we are experiencing, not only in the state, in the nation, and across the world. 
And just to add to that is, everywhere you, you, you've been around, I'm also a freshman, Congressman, but you've been around, you've seen the effect of, you know, the Republicans did come out with tax reform and the cut in the state income tax, et cetera. So even in the best possible economy, we were going to have to cut back government. And so it was just like a perfect storm that, you know, the economy turned on the worst in 50 years, et cetera. But with the, with the tax reform that they put in, the movement was there to try to reduce the size of, of government. Do you, would you say that that's having an effect now, that tax reform is, is working? Uh, tax reform is, and I think just really quite, tax reform I think is working in that we're much more attracted to the, to the large companies. You know, we've done it, you know, you, you know remember the capital, we've done it on the back of small businesses, and small businesses in Ohio are paying much more than they have in the past. But the good, the good news is, is that we are, a lot more companies are looking at Ohio and relocating in Ohio because of our tax environment. So, so there are some positive things on the way.